So in this video, I'm going to tell you about six amazing benefits of zinc that almost everyone watching this video can benefit from straight away. And stay all the way to the end of the video because I'm going to give you one amazing bonus tip. And I'm also going to tell you about the best brand, uh, the one I've been using that has really helped me and the dosage and all that information. Keep watching. So let's kick things off. I find zinc to be an extremely underrated um, uh, vitamin or mineral. Um, it's an essential micronutrient, so your body doesn't need it and it can't make zinc. Your body cannot make zinc by itself, so you have to take it in. It's actually the second most abundant uh, mineral in the body, only second to iron. And uh, people are obsessing about iron, oh, I need to take iron, I don't want to become anemic. But no one's really talking about zinc, this is why I'm saying it's underrated. And it has a huge array of benefits, as we will see shortly. Well, let's kick things off with the first benefit, which is a benefit that I think all of us can do with, especially in these times. So the first benefit of zinc uh, we'll discuss is its benefits for the immune system. So it does boost the immune system. Studies have shown that zinc boosts the immune system. And uh, in particular studies, uh, they've given people zinc supplements and noticed that the duration of their colds or flus reduced by up to 33%. So, uh, for example, if somebody was to normally suffer with a cold for 10 days, uh, that went down to, say, about 7 days, which is a massive improvement. Excellent. So the next benefit is a benefit that will hopefully help all of us uh, keep a long and healthy life. Let's have a look. The next benefit of zinc that studies have shown is its ability to reduce inflammation. So studies have shown that zinc has a good ability to reduce inflammation. And when you reduce inflammation, you will hopefully protect yourself against some chronic diseases because a lot of chronic diseases, inflammation is a key part of the whole process. So if you reduce inflammation, hopefully you will, uh, you will reduce the chance of developing these uh, chronic diseases or the chance of them progressing to such a level that they impact your life. The next benefit addresses a common problem, a problem that has been um, basically getting worse and worse over the last 20, 30 years. Let's have a look. Studies have shown that zinc has a good ability to control blood sugar levels. So it keeps levels steady and it improves uh, the insulin sensitivity. So insulin is the hormone that regulates uh, blood sugar in the body. So it improves the body's sensitivity to insulin. Hopefully uh, this means that uh, your chances of developing, um, say, diabetes are reduced. And if you already have diabetes, then your chances of the diabetes worsening and causing you complications also reduced. Amazing. So the next benefit of zinc is one that has really surprised me. It's one that I think um, younger people will find really, really interesting. Let's have a look. This one is one that really surprised me, but it appears zinc can help treat or reduce the intensity of the severe form of acne. So uh, studies have given um, studies of 322 people used 30 milligrams of a zinc supplement per day. Um, and they've given this to some of the uh, participants and notice a really big improvement in their acne. So it seems that uh, zinc might have good potential to treat the severe form of acne. Wow. So let's move on to the next benefit. And the, the next one has also surprised me. This is not something I've associated um, zinc with, but uh, the studies are clear. It does help with this. Let's have a look. It appears that zinc reduces the level of bad cholesterol. So bad cholesterol is the cholesterol that plays a, a role in the, um, uh, the development of uh, heart disease and um, strokes and all these nasty long-term chronic conditions. And zinc also appears to reduce the level of triglycerides. Uh, these are a type of fat in the blood that you really want to keep um, to a safe, uh, down to a safe level. And obviously by doing these two things, zinc should protect against heart disease which is one of the biggest killers uh, in the western world for sure excellent so let's move on to the next benefit and this one is one that has recently been discovered so it's a quite a new benefit let's have a look the next benefit of zinc is for vision for eyesight and it appears zinc slows down something called macular degeneration so this is a long-term um, condition of the eyes where the eye basically as you get older there's a degeneration that happens in the eye and this is a very common cause of blindness, especially in the elderly. And there are several supporting studies that show the, the zinc, zinc supplements slows down this process. 
but the caution is uh, that zinc alone may not be enough. So you can't really say that uh, you're going to take zinc and you're going to prevent or cure this condition. That's not how it works. But zinc is one of the options to slow down the process of macular degeneration. So let me tell you now about the brand I've been using. It's this one here. Uh, very cheap. This cost me about five pounds, which is about six dollars. And I get three month supply for about five pounds, which is massive value for money. So this is vitamin C in combination with zinc. It's not just zinc. And I think this combination really works well. And this is a slow release. So rather than just releasing all the, uh, the dose in one go, it releases it. So if you take it in the morning, it releases it very slowly throughout the day, which again has been working really, really well for me. Men need 9.5 milligrams of zinc per day. Women need about seven milligrams per day, according to the NHS website. I'll leave the link in the description below. But the one I bought here has 15 milligrams of zinc per pill. You might think that might be a little bit too much, but to be honest, I don't think it is because I've been taking it and um, hasn't really caused me any problems. Because I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to compensate for the, the loss, the natural loss that happens. Um, not every time you take something, you absorb 100% of it. So if you take 15 milligrams and you have a really good absorption of say 80% or 70%, then you're probably gonna get about eight to nine milligrams Anyway, so now for the bonus tip or bonus benefit. Zinc plays, and this is going to come as a really good news for both men and women, zinc plays a really important role in um, the level, uh, maintaining a good level of testosterone. So testosterone is um, a male hormone, but women also have testosterone. So with higher levels of hormone, of uh, testosterone, especially for men, you know, in their 50s and 60s who naturally have, have seen their testosterone decline, the benefit of that is, you know, improved vitality, uh, improved uh, you know, uh, muscle mass, bone health. My osteoporosis, better libido. So um, better libido, better virility, and uh, maybe a better performance in the old. And now a question to you, do you take zinc? And if you do take zinc, which brand do you take? How many do you take? If you don't take zinc, why not? Tell us in the comments below. See you soon. Take care.